Hi, thanks for watching. Um, wanted to go over this uh, cable tester again. Uh, like an idiot in the last video, I didn't understand what this was meaning. But this is uh, Mighty Cables. So, anyway, just wanted to clear that up. So, I'm in the middle of uh, repairing my cables. I got everything laid out here. My little soldering block so that you can take your connectors and you can stick it in there and it holds it in place while you solder. You can just make these out of out of anything, 2x4 or whatever. Um, they work pretty good. Anyway, I want to show you something here. Um, everyone's seen these cables before. Um, and some of the cables, and this screw here will be a Phillips screw, and it will not have these little binding screws. And the ones that look like this that have the reverse thread um, screw here and these little binding screws normally are switchcraft. Well, a lot of times, if you look right here on the side, it'll actually say, on this part, it'll say switchcraft. If you don't have a switchcraft, then you don't have a really good barrel. Okay, a little cannon connector, whatever they call them. Um, I know it's XLRF, that one is. But we just call them cannon connectors. Well, anyway, let me show you something here. Okay, so I'm going to plug this in the tester. All right, so I showed you in one of the other videos how, uh, let's see if I can get it to blink. You saw it blink once there. That's just me wiggling it around. There we go. Okay. So, here's the issue. Let's see if I can slide this off here. Nah. Get this string relief out of the way. Okay. We'll get back in. Now, here's why you want to spend the extra money. When you... When you price a Switchcraft, you know, they're like probably between 8 and $9 a piece. And you price these cheap ones. Look, it's, it's, it's even blinking just doing this here. If you price these cheap ones, you know, you can get these for, you know, oh, I don't know. Some of them are dollar, dollar fifty a piece. Now, <clears throat> the cheap ones that this end screws on, I like those. But these imitation Switchcrafts are a pain. And I'm not going to let you see who... This is, but this is uh, one of the local guitar shops, and they sell these cables, and people buy these like crazy because they're cheap. Well, what happens is the connector itself, let's see if I can get it zoom in here without it blurring. If you look, see how the black part is moving around? That is a cheap connector. If you look here, you can see that if we can get it to work together. Well, you've seen it go off just a minute ago. What happens is the female parts that are inside here, they're like spring-loaded. And when you push it in, you know, they, they expand and slide over the shaft, you know, to make a good connection. Well, what happens is after a while, these things are so cheaply made is they bend around, and you'll actually lose that tension inside here. So when you move this around, you're going to lose connection. Okay, and if you look on some of these, see if you can see it here. These connections are, are fine. Just resoldered all the connections to make sure, and they're perfect. The problem is this, is your actual connector. And there's nothing you're going to do to get inside there to crimp those down again to make a good solid connector. The best thing to do is cut this off and throw it in the garbage and install a new end on it. And that way, you'll be trouble free. So, cheap cables aren't worth the money eventually. They'll last you for a while, but once they start doing that, see it go off and on? Once it starts doing that, the only thing you can do is to replace the end. Um, if you pull this shell off and you don't find a broken wire or you cut it back here and resolder it and it still does that, it's the connector. And the only thing you can do is trash it. So, anyhow... Just thought I'd uh, show you that, you know, sometimes cheap way is not the way to go. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Go to my website, rickcperry.com. Find me on Facebook, Pro Audio Development.